A number of people from different sections of society are responding to the call by the Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee to present their views on the Constitutional Amendment Bill 2015. The committee is processing the bill. Former Macquarie University Vice Chancellor Professor Vanessa's Bariam Reba, who has expressed his intentions to vie for the presidency in 2016 general elections, met the committee to present his views. He argues that the party caucuses are watering down the essence of parliamentary democracy. He cited the ruling NRM party caucus where, on many occasions, MPs have turned back on views they held earlier after caucus meeting. The parliamentary caucus of the members of parliament, of the ruling party, should be barred from discussing and taking binding positions on parliamentary business with executive. Parliamentary caucuses should interface with their parties through the party organs and not through the executive. Just like the opposition and civil society have argued, Professor Barry Mureba also called for the restoration of presidential term limits to help check the power of the president. He also proposes that the upper age limit for one to vie for the presidency should be brought down from 75 to 70. We propose that the constitution be amended, provided for term limits. The constitution should be amended so that both the president and the vice president do not serve beyond the age of 70. The mathematics and computer science don also concurs with others who have appeared before the committee and called for the reduction of the number of lawmakers from the current 386 MPs. The inter-party youth platform that comprises youth from political parties suggested a term limit for district women MPs. Her third consecutive term of candidature to open opportunities for other women to compete for the same, for the same position. In their quest to receive proposals from all interested Ugandans and others, the committee will soon head up country beginning with Gulu. More research all in TV at Parliament.